Hello everyone and welcome to the next Patreon episode and this time we're gonna see some awesome attacks from you guys. So while we're watching this beautiful Zapkoi attack by Bufa, I'm gonna explain you what Patreon is and how I use it. Patreon is a service that allows you supporting me on the channel and getting perks like features on the channel, help with your attacks, help with your clan, warring with your clan and many many other ones as a thanks for your support. The most important thing it gives me though is more time putting up more guides like the Zapkoi guide, like all the Valkyrie guides I was posting and all the future guides that I'm still working on. So right now when we're looking at typical months, I'm working for two days a week, studying for three days a week because I'm still a student and that basically means that I don't have much time to create such guide and each one is gonna take a lot of time to make. What Patreon actually allows me is switching a couple of days of work in a month and using them to create more guides for you guys. The concept is that many people are gonna put small support for the channel and this way I'm gonna be able to put much more time in those guides. So if you feel those guides are helpful for you and you want more of them, feel free visiting my Patreon page and joining. So let's get back to Bofa's attack. He was able to queen walk two of the air defenses, zap quick another one and then released a bunch of dragons from the upper part of the base and those wreck the base. If you want to learn how to do this kind of attack, visit my zap quick guide and also you're gonna learn how to do it with low heroes as well. So notice how we got an easy overkill on this base and we can go to the next one. The next one is gonna be by Hussars and he's from Sons of Anarchy. He's gonna do a Valk attack. Seems like Valk attacks became his favorite attacks and on this one he's gonna do it with back and hogs. Notice that the air defenses are in the middle ring and this doesn't allow you using balloons. Most likely that you're not gonna be able to take all four of them with a kill squad and with the Valks and this is the reason you want to use Hogs. So notice that he brings his kill squad from the upper part of the base because there's a chance that there are double giant bombs or just giant bombs in that upper compartment with the mortar. So there are no bombs over there but it doesn't really matter if it's a first attack on the base you don't want to take the risk that there are bombs over here and you want to detonate any possible bombs with your kill squad. So the other possible bombs locations are in the core of the base and those are going to be taken out by the kill squad as well. So hogs are sent from the back end and notice that all of those compartments are bombless. Let's call it bombless and notice the bombs in the core of the base. All four of them are over there and right now the hogs are safe and they can go through all of those defenses while all of those defenses are shooting into the core at the golem, at the heroes and at the Valks and he's getting a very easy overkill. Only Kalini is left. It's super boring and I, I have nothing to say about Kalini. I think Supercell should do some eight times faster speed for the cleanup only. So we can make it a bit faster, not just kidding, I'm, I can make it a bit faster as well on the video, but I forgot on this one. So the next one is gonna be by Luke and he's going to do a Laloon attack on this Rush Town Hall 10. So those bases are not a joke and you guys are meeting many of them. So what he's gonna do is a Queen Walk, which is gonna enable him taking out the Queen and take it out a couple of air defenses and then he's gonna release the Lava Hounds and the Balloons. So I'm gonna make the Queen walk a bit faster. Notice that he uses the Rage Spell trick to make sure that the healers keep him alive. Breaking through the wall to make sure that he can access a couple of those air defenses. Clan Castle troops are going down thanks to the Queen and a Poison Spell. And now notice how he shoots down the first air defense, the X Bow, and the second air defense is gonna go down now as well. So two air defenses are down and this is a good chance to start the Lava Loon attack. So he's dropping the King to take some attention from that Arch Tower and then using the Lava Hounds with Spam Loon. So this is something that I don't like and I'm always saying that in the videos when I see that. Do not spam your Balloons. Use about three of them or two of them at each defense. That's gonna be enough and this way you will have much more chances on 3 star in the base. The reason you don't want to use a Spam Loon attack is because they bunch up to large groups of Balloons and this way they become an easy target for Wiz Towers and for Air Traps. Notice on this one that he's losing all of the balloons and I think that if he would release them in a surgical way he would have a 3 star on this base 
much much easily so he got the heroes to cover him up on this one but against a higher level base that might be a bigger problem so make sure that you don't do that this way the next attack that we're going to see is gonna be by sunken and he's gonna do a zap quick dragon attack on another rush town hall 10 so so sunken is from a level 8 clan called loyal knights and you're gonna see his awesome zap quick attack and on this one he's gonna use the zap quick strategy for low heroes as you remember a few days ago i released a guide a mini guide you can say that shows you how you can do three star attacks with low heroes basically you want to look for an air defense which is pretty much exposed and take and can be taken out by heroes only once you do that you can zap quick some other two air defenses and this way you're left against one air defense only so you're gonna bring 11 dragons and one is gonna come in the clan castle and this is gonna be a lava hound you want to bring a lava hound because she's gonna protect your dragons from the air defense and provide all the shield needed while the dragons are making their way to that air defense once that air defense is down the base doesn't stand a chance and notice on this one that it was actually a town hall 10 and even that didn't stand any chance against this kind of attack so I'm making it a bit faster because dragon attacks are slow as hell but you're gonna see that this base is gonna go down very very easily so this is definitely another type of attack that you can use even against rush town hall tents i wouldn't recommend using it against fully maxed town hall tents especially if you get low level heroes compared to maxed ones in town hall tents but against such bases you're gonna get super easy overkill notice how many dragons he got left and this is an amazing attack and one of the best attacks in town hall 9 the last attack that we're going to see is going to be by Little Mike from Beast Rayonet and he's going to do a Witch attack with Earthquake Spell. So some of us went to Town Hall 10 before upgrading your, the heroes to max and we're struggling against Town Hall 10s even for 2 stars. So one of the most efficient attacks for 2 stars are Witch attacks. You gotta make sure that you funnel your Witches to the Town Hall and they're gonna get the 50% very easily as well. Notice that on this one, a couple of witches are getting the town hall together with the queen. The 50% is easy one as well, and you can definitely use that if you get low heroes in town hall 10. This is it for this episode. Thanks a lot to my patrons for the huge support that they're giving me. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.